Qatar sends a field hospital and aid to Gaza as humanitarian conditions deteriorate. Israel admits it is under global pressure to halt the war on Gaza after weeks of bombardment and thousands dead. And finally, Israel has appeared to backtrack on threats to close Al Jazeera. Hi, it's Fatma, and you're watching the Roundup. Here are today's top stories. Qatar sent two planes carrying a vital field hospital and aid for Palestinians in Gaza where thousands are in need of urgent medical care. Some 54 tons of aid, including a field hospital, shelter supplies, and medical and food materials were provided by the Qatar Fund for Development, the Qatar Red Crescent Society, and Qatar Charity. This shipment landed in the Egyptian city of Al Arish on Tuesday and comes amid global concerns over Gaza's already collapsed health sector. And now Israel has admitted that it is un under growing global pressure to halt its brutal war on Gaza. On Monday, Israeli Foreign Minister Eli Cohen said they expect the pressure to increase within two to three weeks, though vowed this would not stop Israel from, quote, completing its war mission. Top UN agencies and humanitarian organizations and officials from around the world have rallied to demand an urgent ceasefire, though Israel has yet to heed such calls. And on that note, Israel indicated that it would hold off on threats to close a Jazeera local bureau. The Qatar-based media network was not explicitly mentioned in the government's decision on emergency media regulations for the war on Gaza. Reports say this deliberate omission suggests a delicate balancing act by Israel, which is seeking Doha's help to release hundreds of captives held by Hamas. That's it for me today. For more stories, head over to our website and download our app.